And while the school's only ball is being repaired, the following alternative sports will be offered. Dodge Rock, Volley Brick. Finally, on a personal note, Mrs. Krabappel and I are to be joined in holy wedlock this Saturday. Hi, we got sex with an alligator, screaming orgasms, and virgin screaming orgasms. Ooh, sexy drinks, adult board games. It's another pair of edible panties. <laughs> now that's sexual. Now come on, Homer's kids. Principal, have a beer. I can't. I might be called upon to give directions later. You were asked to chug a lug, and a lug you shall chug. <laughs> You know, I wish I had an exciting life. Like that class picture photographer. Let's kick this up a notch and get you some wiggle in your lap. Hey, take it easy on Skinner. He's just down because after tomorrow, everything he does is wrong. Oh, marriage is going to be great. Now you'll have someone who'll rub your back. <sighs> Homer, Lenny, my man, I can never lie to you guys. I'm... I'm starting to get cold feet. Delivering these ice-cold Lady Duffs has made me hot. Really hot. Sorry to bother you, but we got an anonymous tip about loud music and a strip da diddly dipper Hey, ladies, ladies, I, I really am a cop. Whoa, is that a five? Well, this uniform is a little snug. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, can we, um, can we, I think I, I threw my back out. Principal Skinner is having second thoughts? Oh, poor Edna. Yeah, Marge, it looks like you got the last perfect man. Oh, uh, by the way, can I borrow your car tomorrow? Mine's acting up. <gasps> Whatever. The important thing is to get Skinner to that altar. Because once a union has been sanctified by God, it takes at least six months to tear it apart. Right, naked duff man. I think Skinner might make a run for it. He's eyeing the exits and doing calf stretches. Don't worry, I got a man on the perimeter. Bellbunga one to fat load. This is fat load. Ready to take the plunge? You know I'm not. We had a long discussion about that where I clearly indicated the coldness of my feet. This is it, Edna. As I once said at the Battle of Quezon, I surrender. I'm sorry, Seymour. I can't marry someone who doesn't want to be with me. <laughs> we got a runner. Snipers, take your shot. Mm. Oh. Uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm afraid Edna has gone from tardy to absent. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, move on to the reception and forget this awkwardness with some uh, delicious shrimp mocktail. Just the two of us building the... All right, students, what is the center of the circulatory system? It's the heart. The heart? You mean like Principal Skinner's, which you broke? <laughs> Mom, what are you doing here? Did our house burn down? Oh, that'd be cool. No, I'm just glad to have someone to look at when I wake up in the morning. Really? Well... <laughs> Unkink the hose. If I can't have romance and excitement, then what's the point of being married? Well, it's... In my case... Hmm. <laughs> Jeez, Homer, this guy is bringing the whole bar down. I finally got Barney back on the sauce. If he doesn't have fun, he could easily slip right back into sobriety. Wait a minute. I thought you didn't want to get married. That was before I missed her smell, her warmth, her beautiful, beautiful penmanship. Don't worry, Principal Skinner. You'll be my Cyrano. Hey, if we get your girlfriend back, I won't have to. Okay, just repeat after me. Edna, I made a huge mistake, and I want you back. You just say. It's too late. I'm free and loving it, Principal Skinner. What the? Marge, are you helping her? 
I won't let Edna throw her life away for some passionless marriage. Homer, Marge, if I could just speak to Edna for a moment. Shut up. I didn't tell you to say that. Just why am I taking your advice? Because I'm successfully married. There's no ring on that finger. Uh-oh. I'm here to return the gift you brought to our wedding. Ah, uh, yes. An incredible Hulk melon baller. Ah! I think you did the right thing. You didn't want your life to turn out like this. Would you like to get some coffee? And a family bucket of chicken. Drink quartet, are you tuned up? As tuned as we're gonna get in this humidity. Miss Crabapple, a sad principal, is desperate and needy. So please come back to the dork. Well, well, if it isn't the square in our love triangle. Give her back to Skinner, a fat, bald guy like you. You could have anyone. Forget you. Edna and I are in love. We're doing everything together. Edna's with comic book guy? Oh, God. She's on the rebound. And you meet the worst guys on the rebound. It's how Jackie got her out. I don't see Skinner anywhere. He's probably in costume. He could be any of these people. Wow! The creator of Futurama! Mr. Groaning, will you autograph my Bender doll? Sure. I'm happy to give anyone my autograph, anytime or anywhere. Look, there they are. They're going into multi-purpose room B. Edna, the Klingons have a romantic saying. Oh. Edna, I want you to marry me right here and now. No. Hands off my fiance, wide ride. Stop it! Stop it, both of you. Seymour, it's too late for you to win me back. I'm not marrying you either. There are a million valid reasons, but which one did you pick? We've had a great time together, but we're too different. Take me to some real men. Okay. You can watch my dad and my brothers beat me up. Come back home with Mama, son. Good for you, Mrs. K. Yeah, you don't need a husband to be happy. Our marriage is just an illusion. He doesn't care how I feel at all. He doesn't know how to love. Mart, the greatest day of my life was the day you and I became one. Would you marry me again? And El Padre, if you would do the honors... Gotta add a bowler, correct? But I call Tarahara.